Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and I want to cover the Creative Cloud for web designers and developers or interactive designers and developers uh, because there's been a lot of movement in this area. So you can go to creativecloud.com. I was just going to review some of the plans. So there's been these plans available, but also I wanted to show you that there's plans for teams and enterprises as well. So if you're part of an enterprise, uh, you can contact one of our reps, but if you're part of a, a smaller team, then you can have centralized billing, you can have more cloud storage, that sort of thing. So check that out. There's also plans for education. But once you're all uh, signed up and ready to go, and believe me, you can actually just try this out for free on a, on a trial basis. But once you do, you can jump in and uh, download any of these creative tools that you want uh, from the Creative Cloud. In fact, uh, you can download any of these tools, Photoshop, uh, Fireworks, Dreamweaver. You can get down into Edge Tools and Services, which is specifically for web designers and developers. And really, the web area is the area that has had the most change and growth because it's great. We've been able to add all these tools and services at no additional charge, which has been awesome. Uh, you can get into the touch apps as well. Um, but again, you have Creative Cloud Connection Preview that I want to show you as well. Again, this is specifically uh, for web designers although I'm sure plenty of people can get a lot out of it. But basically you, um, you have your files available in a browser. Okay, So I can actually see all of these files and I can dive right into, say this, PSD and actually preview it, which is great. Access the swatch right here as you can see. See what app is used to create it. I can even start to take a look at the various layers and things like that. And all I need to do is I could just drag, say for instance, this PSD right into here if I want to. Okay, So that's one way of doing it, but I wanted to show you Creative Cloud Connection. Because right up here we have this Creative Cloud Connection that's running uh, right here. In fact, I can open up the Creative Cloud Files folder. Okay, If I do that, oh look at that, it's actually uh, in my on my hard drive it's this folder in fact if I take a peek right in here creative cloud files that's what I'm looking at right here right now so now what I can do is instead of dragging this into the browser I could just keep this right in here in this folder in fact you can see that it's transferring now and actually is being uploading uploaded to the site right now as well Okay, so I'll wait a second for that to happen. That will sync. It's about 10 megs. It's larger, you know. I mean, it is a PSD file, but I'm going to double click on that and open that up in Photoshop. And now this is awesome because if you're a Creative Cloud member, we can actually um, update these programs for you and you get access to those features right, right away. So this has already been updated, by the way. Um, and there's actually some new features in the latest version of Photoshop exclusively for Creative Cloud members um, that uh, we'll take a look at. But there's the PSD that just got uploaded. Okay, so there it is. It's in the cloud now. I can take a look at it right there. You can see the colors we used to create it. I can click in here and say, oh, there's a, there's a header. Oh, a sidebar expanded. Let's click on that. Oh, that's great. It slides out. Okay, so that's how that works. So I could actually send a note to the client saying, hey, you know what, here's the, here's the website design. Add that comment, you know, and I can send this to the client after I add that comment. Set as public, allow comments, allow download, send it to whoever I want to. Just like that, and it will send that email. They will have access to it, they can jump in, they can add their comments, looks great, you know, change gold to red for the for the title. Whatever the case may be, they can provide their feedback, whatever they need to do, uh, and then you can begin to work on it. But you don't, it's not a transferring of files, it's right here on your desktop. So you can open it up and you can see that sidebar to expand it just to show you what, what you can implement as a designer. But you can you jump in and do exactly, you know, basically take those comments into consideration. Maybe you want to change it to red, maybe you don't. Either way, you can make the changes that you need to. Say for instance, changing that to red and even jumping in here and changing this to uh, red as well. So I'd change it red to red across the board. Say, okay, that looks uh, that looks pretty good. I can change this text too, but you get the idea. I'm actually going to save this file 
And since I've saved it, it says, hey, you know what? You've made changes to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload me to Creative Cloud. And that's exactly what's happening right now. So let me just go back. There is search available, but it's actually going to update that PSD file right there. And uh, we'll see that in a second, but you can see how that process can work. It's a matter of, you know, s finding the file, uh, sending it to someone, having them toggle uh, through layers if they want to, or add comments if they need to, whatever the case may be uh, for these different files. Now once you have it finalized, you can go into sort of the next step. And this is uh, where I'd like to open up the latest version of Photoshop, because this is really cool what I can do now. I can say, hey, you know what, I like this. Looks pretty good. Um, now I need to take all this pixel information and convert it to CSS and HTML and images and all that good stuff. And there's so much we can do with CSS these days. Everything doesn't need to be an image. I don't need to go in here and start chopping up everything like we used to. Okay, I can actually take, uh, you know, this header, this title, for instance. Well, geez, this title that I made can it actually be all CSS based. So check this out. I can right click and I can say, hey, you know what, let's copy that CSS for that title right there. Then I can jump into Dreamweaver or Edge Code. Um, you can see some of that content. Let's just remove that. You might have something that looks like this, and this is just the information. This is just the HTML right down here, okay? And that's nice that CSS is going to be separate from the content. So the style is separate from the content, but I'll paste in that title. This is everything that was made in Photoshop. I didn't have to type up any of that. It creates it. The name is title, okay? So that's that class. In fact, right down here, I have that class title for travelers. So if I click over here, you can see how that word travelers has changed. In fact, if I click on live view, you can see it right there. It even has that drop shadow. Okay, so uh, all created in Photoshop, just copy, paste, we're good to go. I can begin to do that with the rest of these elements. In fact, I'll show you a shortcut as well. If I jump in here, all this content, all this header content, Everything in that folder, I can copy all of that CSS. So copying it all, all of those various CSS properties, um, you know, the various, various rules available, copying everything. And then I can kind of pick and choose, but overall, I'm taking everything and I'm going to paste it right in there. And you can see... I go to design view, it's actually formatted everything pretty darn well, okay? So I can preview this in a browser and you can see that content. Now, again, this is just sort of like a sort of version 1.0 of this. So you can notice that I don't have transparency here. Well, it's great because I can always change that, okay? I can change anything I want, but it's nice that I have that raw data. Because what I used to have to do is I'd have to export out the JPEG, the design from Photoshop, and then I have to provide all those notes. So rather than providing all the notes of, hey, this is red, you know, this certain color red, I want it this font. Well, you know what? It's already in that format for uh, the developer to implement. And then you can just, the developer, or you can just jump in and uh, start to manipulate that. Notice, again, some trickery going on here, not really, but uh, it does do a path to the image, okay? But it doesn't copy or create that image at all. I actually just already had that image in there. Okay, so full disclosure there. Content area, again, I wanted that transparent so I could do RGBA. Okay, so for RGBA and then just add a point, you know, five is what I can do for RGBA. So basically adding the alpha and you can see I've added the alpha in there. Okay, pretty cool what we can do there. Um, even going back, in fact, you know, your, your end result might look something more like this. Again, it did absolute positioning of everything and I'd want everything to be a little more flexible 
and responsive. And uh, again, this is what the developer can do or, or you can do, whatever the case may be, in, um, in Dreamweaver or Edge Code. Okay, I'm going to show you one more feature in Photoshop before I wrap up. And that's the ability to even take CSS. In fact, I'm going to take this same file, okay? And it could be any file, but I can take any HTML, CSS, or SVG file, okay? And what I can do is I can open up the swatches panel. So I'm going to open up swatches right here. Oh, look at that. I've got some colors in there. Where did that come from? Well, what you can do is you, you can actually load in swatches, whether they're uh, in a file in uh, SVG format, CSS, or HTML. In this case, I'm actually going to take that same uh, HTML file that has some CSS properties, not a lot of them, and put them in there and actually pulled them all in right down here is what it did. So it actually implemented those swatches uh, based on that CSS file or SVG um, or, or wherever wherever that CSS is. So again, that's Photoshop, the recent Photoshop update, as well as what you can do uh, in the creative cloud for web designers. This stuff is always changing, so uh, stay tuned as we start to add more value to the creative cloud.